Hi YouTube, this is Pen Withers. Uh, this will be part 9 of this uh, Western build. Um, sorted out the issue of the uh, program, the chip CV54. So the loco now is running like a dream. Really slow if you want it, so not bad at all. So now we're going on, getting on towards the lights now. Today I fitted the uh, indicator numbers here that's going to be uh, number one cab so fast displaying the, that used to be the code for the snurfed act and milk train which used to leave Cornwall every afternoon between three and four o'clock if I remember rightly and uh, <clears throat> I thought that would be quite a relevant code the um, six on the code indicates that it's a like a 60 mile per hour freight train the A there next to it denotes that it's going to London and the uh, 21 is like the individual number that uh, that specific train was given and it ran with that code for as long as I could remember until it finished so I thought I'd use that as a valid code and then once these codes were phased out at later years they used to run them with the um, I think the class 50s and the 52s used to display their running number. So I thought I'd have 1035, which is going to be Western Yeoman, have that on the cab N2. I got these um, labels from Precision Labels. Uh, they come a little, uh, they've got uh, like little framed sheets, various types. And then uh, they've got the individual, uh, just see if we can get it out, the individual running numbers, letters, so you could put in whatever code you wanted. So they just stuck in uh, on the back of that uh, cover, which then leads me on to <clears throat> the next section, which is going to be running the lights. I plan to use this uh, fiber optic strand and mount LEDs on the back of the cab. So I've just got, just to give you an idea, that there is a little like plug connector, which you can obviously unplug. I've soldered the LED to that, and I'm going to stick that to the back of the cab, and then I'm going to run these uh, fiber optic strands back and somehow connect one to the other and I'll just give you a little indication just bear with me there's the obviously the light coming through that strand so quite bright so that's the plan with that and I've also done slightly longer stemmed um, LEDs to illuminate the uh, the actual numbers there. Those should hopefully come on with uh, the actual forward lighting. So I've got to wire that in. So probably we'll get to see if I can get these mounted. And then we'll see if we can get them wired up to that uh, decoder. That could be the interesting bit. But like I say, I thought I'd just give you a few ramblings of uh, where we're up to and how we're getting to it. But uh, hopefully it will become clear as mud in the next clip. See you in a minute. Right, here we are. We're back. Um, had hoped to show you some working lights, but uh, as luck would have it, they won't work. The um, decoder is actually set up for an incandescent bulb, not an LED. Um, so I downloaded the instructions, and it says that you can actually set the LA, um, set it to an LED compensation mode. Because what they're saying, the incandescent mode will put too much power through it and blow the LEDs. So. I downloaded the uh, details off the internet, um, which explains that you need to obviously switch for, between the two modes. 
but the uh, details they give, well, it doesn't really mean a thing. Uh, it's not really clear. It doesn't say if you put this code in, it will switch it to LED mode. All the figures just gives you a switching on and off delay, switch off, a brightness, uh, a special function, uh, and each, uh, like the rear light, the front lights, the auxiliary lights, each separate one needs to be configured. So you could be configuring six different CV settings for obviously just the lighting circuits. I did speak to um, the, uh, I can't think who it is now, but they supplied the actual chip um, and they said no, we've never done it, but give us a, send us the details and we'll see if we can find out how to do it. Um, I'll put up a, I got three pictures of the description on this switching mode, just in case someone reads it and, you know, can make head and a tail out of it, but, um, so, I've got these connectors sorted out, and I've just dropped these ones in here loosely, just to give you an idea of what I intend doing. The white LED is going to be for the front light, which you can just see there. And then the red LED obviously is the rear light and I'm going to use the fiber optic cable. And you can just see where I pre-drilled the holes in the left and right corner. I'm going to push those through and then sweep them around and connect those. I'm going to sleeve the fiber optic cable down to go over those LEDs. Which hopefully will give me front and rear lighting. So obviously it's a bit awkward. I haven't been able to find anything small enough to break through. And there, right in the top, in the centre, obviously we've got the... I'm going to put another one of these connectors with a white LED for a cab light. And what I wanted to do was get all these fixed, wired up, working, before I actually connect the cabs to the body. Because once they're connected, there's not going to be a lot of room to... Um, fix this in place so uh, that's where we're at at the moment but tomorrow I'm off to Worley and I'm going to spend the day up there so I'm going to take this little bit of paperwork here which tells you how to switch the uh, function to an LED function and hopefully someone there might uh, be able to put me in the right direction to switch it because really once that's done if I can get those uh, lights in and working I can get that body together finally uh, it's almost a year now to the day that I bought this kit so it would be nice to see it uh, finally running so that's the uh, the plan at the minute and uh, I have actually uh, set this up for slow running now the actual uh, loco is moving extremely slowly so I'm quite pleased with that for uh, slow running and that's worked in really well so I've, uh, I've just taken the connection off the layout up here just there to give me a little bit of test track here rather than having to go out onto the floor to uh, set this up and work in but, uh, yeah like I say quite pleased that's sorted so now it's the next bit is the lights and I had out Graham would sort this out it would have made my life easier but there we are because he seems to be the man with the decoders but uh, there we are anyway I'll leave you to it never know I might bump into some of you at Warley tomorrow hopefully if we do say hello I'm the bold headed one so anyway we'll leave you to it thanks for watching comments appreciated Hopefully we'll pop in and see someone tomorrow at Worley, get a bit of information and obviously there might be a bit of video coming up over the next day or two showing hopefully some answers to the questions I've asked uh, and perhaps a few layouts there. Anyway, as I say, bye for now.